Hi. Hi, hi nine viewers. I'm Dr. Sumina Reddy, Chief Fertility Consultant and Laparoscopic Surgeon at Angels Fertility Center. Today we are going to discuss about various options available for conceiving in women with blocked tubes. When, uh, before we start, it is important to understand the role of fallopian tubes in the process of conception. The egg that is released from the ovary is picked up by the fallopian tube. In the meantime, the sperm travels up along the cervix and uterus to reach the egg within the fallopian tube fertilizes it there to form an embryo. This embryo undergoes initial development within the fallopian tubes and is gradually pushed towards the uterus. Thus, fallopian tubes are not just physical conduits but are functional incubators for early embryonic development. When these fallopian tubes are blocked, it gets really difficult for the couple to conceive. Even a single functional tube is good enough for conception. But if both tubes are blocked, they need help when trying to conceive. Whereas partial blocks may lead to something called as ectopic pregnancy. When both tubes are completely blocked, we need to diagnose the location of the block. If it is a small block near the uterine end, that can be released with hysteroscopic cannulation. If the block is more towards the ovary, fimbrioplasty may be required. If for some reason couple wants to conceive after tubectomy, laparoscopic tubal recanalization can be offered. After all the tubal surgeries, the couple is given time of 1 to 2 years to conceive. In meantime, if they fail to conceive, they require other treatment procedures like IVF or test tube baby. Thank you for watching.